Hey, what's up guys? Mitsuni Nika here again, and oh boy, do we have another doozy of a video. This one coming from one of our favorite, you know, freaking PlayStation shills on YouTube. You know, one of the greatest freaking weirdo satirical YouTubers ever. And yes, I'm talking about the one and only Big Man Gamers, here to deliver us some more great hot takes, this time about why every game should be at 24 FPS instead of 60. So if you guys are down for that, you ready for that, let's get into the video. What's up guys, Big Man here back with another video, but before we get started, don't forget to make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and to slap that like button. Or should I say, slap that like button? So with all that said, let's get started guys. Imagine playing games at 60 FPS, aka the soap opera effect. A phrase which comes from a game, TV show, or movie looking like a cheap soap opera. That weird, unnatural, floaty look that on-screen movements have to them. Like you're watching something filmed on an old camcorder from the 90s. Just like when they released The Hobbit in 48 FPS instead of the industry standard 24 FPS, and everyone hated it. It didn't look like a movie at all. Bro, what the fuck is he talking about? This guy really just fucking said it. It feels like a fucking soap opera effect and like it's filmed on an old fucking recorder or like fucking camcorder from the 90s. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man. Like, dude, yo, this is some of the fucking crazy shit I've ever heard, dude. How the fuck do you even fucking come up or think of some shit like this? Oh my god. Alright, let's get back to the video. I, I fucking can't hide with this. The same soap opera effect PC fanboys are so obsessed with, thinking it makes them better gamers, but literally no one even cares about PC gaming. 99% of gamers play on either PlayStation, Xbox, or Nintendo, and no one plays games on PC. That's right guys, only PC fanboys care about fucking higher FPS, you know? It totally doesn't make your game fucking play better and shit compared to like 30 FPS because everything feels slower and sometimes even clunkier. And not only do that, when uh, certain games are at, are locked at like 30 FPS or so, it can make the freaking, it can make like the game like stutter and everything. While 60 FPS, if it's optimized well, can make the game gameplay much smoother. Like, what the fuck? Do I even need to explain this shit? It should be fucking obvious, man. <laughs> this guy goes on to say that no one cares about PC gaming and shit. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure no one cares about PC gaming and no one plays on PC when there are literally millions, probably like millions of players playing games on PC every single damn day. Like, Call of Duty, hell, fucking Fortnite, if you want to go ahead and toss that shit, shit in as an example. Minecraft, Minecraft is literally being modded every damn day on the PC platform, dude. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Uh, but hey, man, you love to see it. On PCs, PC fanboys are nothing more than a fringe cult of neckbeards, losing every time. Just holding that L. Bro, did he really just fucking call PC gamers a neckbeard cult? I'm fucking dead, man. You, you just can't make this shit up. What the fuck? But I say frame rates in all video games should be lowered instead of 30 or 60, they should be 24 frames per second. 
giving games a more filmic, cinematic look. Only a fucking PlayStation fanboy like you, Big Man Gamers, would give a fuck about freaking cinematic 24 or 30 FPS fucking games with some storyline or, or fucking like cinematic experience movie shit. <laughs> what the fuck? No person who actually gives a fuck about a fucking gameplay, you know, and not whether the game is a cinematic story experience like The Last of Us is, would even remotely want their fucking frame rate to be lowered. Okay, anyone with half a brain cell knows that 60 FPS or higher is much better than 24 or 30 FPS. It just makes the gameplay much smoother, much better to play, okay? Like, like this isn't rocket science, big man, okay? This isn't rocket science, alright, man? Boy. And not only this, but also with the performance saved, this will also allow for higher resolutions, more detailed textures, and better graphics. Lower FPS is a good thing. Bro, no one cares about higher resolution textures, okay, or better fucking graphics when it comes to having a more stable and consistent frame rate to overall have a better gameplay experience, okay? No one gives a shit about that, except probably you, alright buddy? Anyone with half of a goddamn brain cell would know that a higher frame rate is much better than fucking beautiful or pretty looking graphics or fucking high res textures, okay? Let me, like, a perfect example is fucking Cyberpunk 2077. That game looks absolutely astounding, okay? And yet it runs like absolute dog shit, alright? The frame rate in it is complete fucking ass. And on PS4 and Xbox One, the base versions, it, it won't even fucking play, man. Like, look at how many fucking updates and patch fixes is a, it done had since it got released, okay? That game was a big giant ass scam, alright? And yet the game looks really amazing. But even on PC, the fucking frame rate dips sometimes, and it has tons of bugs, the game crashes, and it runs like absolute dog shit at times, unless you got a really, really fucking powerful PC. Okay, and God forbid, like I said, you're playing this, like, uh, like, like on fucking, like, the base PS4 and Xbox One, God forbid you're playing it on that, because it won't even run at all. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God, dude. But hey, man, you love to see it, Joe. Well, apparently, you know, uh, people want fucking uh, 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 high-res textures and graphics over an actual fucking uh, playable game, you know, with like a consistent frame rate and stuff. Oh, but I know what you're thinking. You don't know what you're talking about, big man. You're just console president and not a PC gamer. You think all games should be a single-player experience with good stories and Fun gameplay. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't understand PC gaming. Well, actually, that is where you are wrong, my friend. Because I am fact to own a gaming PC with a 3090. But just to tide me over until I could get a PS5. Hey, man. You know your audience. You know your audience, you know? They're not my words, those are yours. <laughs> but I find it funny how this dude talks about how no one plays on fucking PC and that no one cares about PC gamers. You know, PC sucks and everything. But this guy himself just admitted to owning a fucking 3090. Like, you love to see the hypocrisy here. <laughs> Talking about how it's holding him over until he gets a PS5, man. Oh my god, dude. If you hate PC that much, why didn't you just go get a fucking Xbox or a, or a fucking a Switch? Like like you were saying, like they're both good and everything, and PC sucks, you know? PC, fuck. Dude, man. Dude, the level of hypocrisies from Big Man Gamers is honestly astounding. Like, I, I cannot believe this. Oh, man. 
But I'll say that if you do play on PC, as soon as you can get a PS5 or even an Xbox Series X if you can't find a PS5, that you upgrade to a console as soon as you can afford it. It's totally worth it. Trust me, you'll have a much better experience. No, I think I'll just, uh, you know, stick to playing on a PC instead, you know, where I get to freaking play my games with, with mods and stuff whenever I feel like it. I'll also get to adjust and customize the settings as much as I want to, you know, play with pro most pos possibly a uh, higher and more stable, you know, frame rate instead, instead of playing on consoles, you know. But uh, uh, thanks for the offer, Big Man Gamers, but I'm perfectly content with the PC that I have right here. You know, the same one that I'm using to make videos on about you. But, but uh, hey, like I said, thanks for the offer. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> you love to see it. Just like mobile gamers, PC gamers love stuff like free-to-play games and spending thousands of dollars on loot boxes and microtransactions and watching in-game ads. And like Xbox gamers, they play nothing but mindless online do brochures and buy subscription services. If you take mobile gamers and cross them with Xbox gamers, then you get PC gamers. That's right, man. Games like fucking uh, Doom Eternal, Wolfenstein, you know, Raven Software Singularity FPS game. You know, freaking, uh, what else is there? Quake, you know, Hexen and everything. Those are all mindless dude bro shooters, man. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. Games like Titanfall, you know, you playing that on PC, man? That's nothing but a mindless, crappy fucking shooter, according to Big Man Gamers. And if you cross, <laughs> if you cross Xbox with mobile gamers, man, Xbox gamers with mobile gamers, you get PC gamers. Like, you cannot make this shit up, man. Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what they say. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck was that fucking thing that he just fucking did right there? This dude said some like the three things that you get you like what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, how do you come up with shit like this, man? Oh my god. Dude, if this is actually fucking satire, yo, like like a lot of people be saying his channel is this this is this is <laughs> the greatest fucking satire I've ever heard in my life, man. But I but I don't I don't even know, man. Big man gamers like I really feel like this guy really believes the shit that he pedals at times, dude. Like <laughs> Oh my god. What the fuck, man? You love to see this stuff. Boy. It's actually on consoles. Plural with an S. Do you also say someone is driving car? No, they are driving a car. So it's playing on consoles. Or playing on a console. Not playing on console. That doesn't even make any sense. So sad. But these are the supposed master race, and they can't even talk properly? I don't know, big man. Do you say big man's a dumbass? Weirdo? Or do you say <laughs> big man is a dumbass weirdo? <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? I don't know. You tell me, big man. Do you say, uh... Big man, big man gamers, uh, fucking console shill fanboy, or do you say big man is a console shilling fanboy? You know, <laughs> like what the fuck, man, dude, what the fuck are you even talking about? You make no sense, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. 
imagine being a PC gamer playing soap opera simulators with remastered PS2 graphics at 480p with the soap opera effect like Left 4 Dead and Valorant. Imagine playing on the PC. Bro, did he really just say Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 and Valorant has PS2 level graphics? What the fuck on PC? <laughs> Dude, man, there are so many goddamn mods out there that makes the that makes Left 4 Dead look better. And I'm not sure about Valorant yet, but Valorant definitely does not look like no fucking PS2 game. I mean, but then, but then again, there are a lot of PS2 games that are just graphically impressive, even by today's standards, you know? <laughs> like, a lot of them definitely do hold up, like God of War, Final Fantasy X, but, but anyway, enough uh, enough about that, you know, I'm, 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 I'm getting off topic. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, like you said, imagine playing on P, imagine playing on PC, oh boy, you, you can never catch me playing on PC, right? <laughs> Oh my god, dude. These console fan boards are so fucking stupid, man. This shit is so dumb. Who really gives a fuck what platform you play on, okay? My preferred platform is either PC or fucking PlayStation, okay? Right now, I mainly play on PC, but it does not really fucking matter, okay? Play on whatever piece of plastic you want to play on if you genuinely think which about which console is better than the other or which fucking platform is the best to really play on then how about you go step outside and, and touch some grass for once okay buddy it's not that serious okay it's literally a fucking video game and a piece of plastic and hardware to just play on okay for entertainment purposes alright like come on man well, how do you guys take this stuff a little bit too damn seriously man like it's not that big of a deal. It's a piece of plastic meant to entertain you, alright? That's all. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. I think a lot of people fail to understand this stuff for some reason. It's a very basic and simple concept. It's not that hard to, ri to wrap your, uh, your, your finger around, okay? Like, seriously, man. I mean, your head around. I said finger. It's, it's not that difficult to wrap your finger around. Boy. It's like, it's not even rocket science. Like, come on, man. It's, it's, it's not. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It's a piece of plastic, okay? That's it. These companies don't give a fuck about you, alright? They don't really care, okay? All they want is your goddamn money, okay? And yeah, a lot of these companies like fucking Sony and EA and Activision are scummy and shit with the way they monetize, you know, their games, especially like full paid ones and stuff. You know, Ubisoft as well. <laughs> it's a company. What else could do you expect from them? Okay? Imagine playing the version of a game on P, playing nothing but FPS and Battle Royale, buying hundreds of dollars of skins and loot boxes on your mom's credit card without permission, thinking there should be no physical games and only one digital storefront with a monopoly. Look at a modern 4K video game with HD graphics and textures, something like Halo Infinite, if that ever does come out of course and doesn't get delayed again that is, but I digress. An open world game with 4K graphics and mobile characters and vehicles on screen, this game is going to run terribly on P. Serious? No, that sounds like a bunch of fucking uh, little idiots and fucking 12 year olds that play Fortnite, okay? Those are the ones spending money on their mother's credit cards for fucking dumbass loot boxes and fucking, uh, uh, fucking, uh, skins, okay? That do nothing for the gameplay at all, okay, buddy? <laughs> what the fuck? This guy goes on to fucking talk about fucking his mobile games and shit like that, man. Talking about some oh, the Halo Infinite is gonna fucking if it doesn't get fucking delayed again, man. And when Halo Infinite comes out, it's gonna run like fucking crap on the PC, man. Like, does this guy not know that Halo? Master Chief Collection is a thing, okay, and the game runs really damn well, okay? 
even on kind of mid-tier specs, it runs really damn well, okay, buddy? Like, 343 are updating Halo Master Chief Collection a, a fair bit, all right, man? And they're also focusing on uh, the PC version of Halo Infinite a lot as well. Like, what the fuck, man? This game is not gonna, this game is not gonna run like crap, hopefully, when it launches, okay? This game is gonna be extremely, extremely good, at least from, at least it looks like it's gonna be extremely good. It's, it looks like it's, it's like the old style, um, OG Halos again, you know? <laughs> like, come on, man. What the fuck? Like, this dude is just making up excuses and shit. Like, for why fucking 24 FPS should be a thing and why fucking like higher, uh, fucking higher frame rate is is just uh, bad. Uh, I don't know why or how when the, when this guy came up with this idea, man. But it is so damn stupid. The level of thinking you have to have, the fucking like IQ, your IQ has to be so goddamn fucking low to think of something like this, man. <laughs> like, come on, come on, man. Oh my god. But since more and more games are launching on consoles day one, day and date at the same time as on P, there's fewer and fewer reasons to buy PCs if people can just play the same exact games on a console with better performance and for less money. Less and less people are going to be buying gaming PCs. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, did he really just say that playing on consoles gives you better performance, man? Okay? This dude really just said playing on consoles gives you better for performance, a better freaking gameplay, and like better frame rate and stuff than a PC can. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is basically saying that a freaking console is stronger than a PC, man. Like, oh my god, dude. With the same games on every platform, people can just get a console if that's their preferred platform. They won't need to go out and buy hardware that they otherwise wouldn't want if the game was only on P and not on consoles. Or if they want to upgrade from P to a console, then they can just get rid of their PC and there will be no need to keep hardware that they no longer want just to play a few games they can't play on their preferred platform. They can play those same games on either PS5 or Xbox with better performance. Imagine playing on P when you can just get a console and have a much better experience. If you game on PC, then you cannot claim to be a real gamer. PC fanboys think every video game should look like an episode of Days of Our Lives or an NFL football game. But I've got news for you. Steam is trash, Valve are trash, CSGO is trash, Left 4 Dead is trash, Half-Life is trash, Team Fortress is trash, Portal is trash, COD is trash, Fortnite is trash, PUBG is trash. <laughs> <laughs> Oh snap, Big Man Gamers is coming up with an even bigger hot take. Oh my god, man, this dude said COD trash, Fortnite trash, Halo is trash, freaking Half-Life is trash, Portal is trash, freaking Left 4 Dead, all that, PUBG is trash. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this dude sounds big mad. <laughs> He <laughs> should just call himself Big Mad Gamers, because <laughs> that's exactly what he seems like right now. <laughs> like he's Big Mad. <laughs> that there's a such thing as PC gaming in the first place. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> you just can't make this up. This fanboy's logic is freaking 
beyond mortal comprehension. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Big Mad Gamers. Yep, that should be his new YouTube name. <laughs> What reason is there to game on P when you can play games on your preferred platform of choice with games on consoles being more polished, having better performance, and curb stomping the P versions? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? No, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't think the, uh, <laughs> the PC version is getting curb stomped by the console versions in what way whatsoever, okay? In no, in no world, or in no world is the freaking PC version getting curb stomped by the console versions of his ports, okay? Of a game's ports, all right? With a PC version, you can do so much. Even if the game comes released like a buggy mess like Cyberpunk did, the game can get easily freaking patched within hours, okay? All right? Not only that, there's the modding community, which will also sit there and patch the game up if the devs don't know how to do their fucking job, right? Not only that, there are abundances of mods which change up the gameplay formula. Okay, just look at Skyrim, okay, <laughs> on PC. There's many things you can mod into that game. Another great example would be Minecraft, Left 4 Dead, plenty of other games, okay? Not only that, you could also play emulators on your PC, you know? I mean, you could do, you could play some emulators on your Xbox One as well, but, like, it doesn't have the same level of customization as a P PC platform does, okay? PC offers many, many options, okay? Not just for you to play one singular game, all right? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, my God, dude. The, the 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 line of thinking you gotta have to even to even come up with this kind of stuff is beyond me, man. A fanboy's mindset and logic is just beyond our understanding. <laughs> like, not even NASA could figure something like this out, man. When you go from P and upgrade to consoles, you'll find it very hard to go back. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, trust, subscribe, all that good stuff. Pigman Gamers, out. No, no, I don't think it'll be hard for me to go back to PC gaming after I play on console. And this is coming from someone who grew up playing consoles in the first damn place anyway, okay? <laughs> like, if anything, playing on PC, you know, and then afterwards playing on console again has just made me want to go back to playing PC, playing on, playing on PC even more now because of the limitations that consoles have and the amount of customization and pretty much limitless things you could do with the PC. You could do so much more with a PC than you can with a console. Like say the freaking PS4 and you know the Xbox One. But anyway guys, you know that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Mitsuni Nika. Peace.